Here we are on a Friday afternoon. We got an eastbound train coming through in the rain. This is a good one. It's got a bunch of tank cars on it. It's got the rock cars there. They start the video. Here we go. Starting to rain pretty good too. It just started raining. Got a bunch of tank cars for storage. Looks like we got a couple covered hoppers for Winchester Ag. Then we've got these rock cars that go to Plum Run. So this is a pretty good train. A couple of nice big locomotives. SD40-2 and a GP15-1. So this is a good train here. Wow. All right, there you go. That's pretty good. <laughs> wow, is it ever raining? Let's go try to get them again. But wait, there's more. And I'm gonna try to catch the other side of the train, but this time, since it's raining so much, I'm gonna try to stay inside the truck. I got soaked that last time. There's Chessie. She wants to see the train too. It's coming from that direction over there. I think it might have let up just a little bit. I hope it lets up a little bit before the train gets here. I'm in Macon, Ohio. I got a few miles in front of it. So I'll see it go by in Macon, Ohio from the other side of the train. Huh, look at little Chessie. She got all wet sticking her head out the window when the train went by. Hi, Chessie. What are you doing? She wants over here on me. I, I can't get her to stay over there. She's all excited. Here they come in the Macon. The rain has let up a little bit, just a little. Oh, it's got water in the lens. Hey, Jesse.
Was that cool or what? That was pretty awesome. Jesse liked it. Look there, Jesse. That was a good train, folks. You don't get them with the tankers and everything on this line every day. Had tankers, uh, rock cars, grain cars, everything. Got the traffic all back up, too. Hey, now's my chance. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. But wait, there's more. I decided to catch them again up here near Winchester. It's a little one lane road right here. There's not much room to pass if another car comes. That's what I don't like about this road, so I don't film it very much. And today it's about 48 degrees raining. Yesterday it was 60 and sunny. Now it's at the Reds opening day parade. It was really nice out. And I was gonna do some yard work today, plan on mowing the grass but that's impossible. So we're chasing the train instead. They're gonna be coming here in just a minute. Oh, I think I'm starting to see them. Here they come. That's Route 32. It is cruddy out today. Well, there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't wait till summer gets here and it warms up. Hey, check out this barn over there. Look at that. That is cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Alrighty, I'm still chasing this train in the rain, and I'm in Seaman, Ohio right now. Still got Chessie with me. She hears the train coming. Look at her. She's trying to get over here and jump on top of me. All right, the train's going to be coming across this crossing. Oh, Chessie just stepped on me. Here she comes. Anyways, the train's coming from that way any time now.
you, Chessie. Well, that was cool. They dropped all those tank cars off at Mount Zion. They left the two covered hoppers at the Green Elevator in Winchester, and then they picked up all those guns and that CSX hopper car on the rear. And now they're headed out to Plum Run to set those cars off at the quarry so they can load them up over the weekend. Downtown Seaman, Ohio. Was that cool or what? All right, for my final stop of the day, I'm just west of Law She. There's a really cool railroad bridge right here. Check this out. It goes over the road and over that creek. I forgot the name of it. But if you want to look on Google Maps, we're just a couple miles west of Law She. There's the truck. Kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. You don't want to get stuck here. I got hung up right there. And that muck, uh, the last time I was here, I don't know, a few months or so ago when I filmed at this spot, I got hung up in that. But I do keep a shovel in my truck, so you got to have a shovel. It always comes in handy. I got four-wheel drive, so I got myself out. I don't know how long it would take to get a tow truck out here. And I always keep an extra bag of Jelly Bellies. You never know when you need a jelly bean. Okay, the train's going to be here in just a minute. Jesse. Okay, Jesse, here comes the train. You can walk from right there. I'm out in the rain. There she comes finally. It's kind of difficult to zoom in, zoom out, because I got my camera so wet.
Oh, there she goes. That's it for me. Whoo! It's nasty out today. Can't take no more of this rain. Hey, who we got there? There's Chessie. You can barely see her because of the glare and the rain. Well, you know why I wear these leather jackets now. They're perfect for this kind of weather. The water just falls off of them. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Still at the slideshow. Uh, might show some baby ducks on here. We got some showed up on our pond a couple of days ago. Five baby, well, they're geese, actually. Five geese hatched out. Didn't even know that the geese were sitting. They usually sit every year, but I didn't see them this year where they had the nest, so I don't know where it was. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to get out of the rain. I'm heading home. Can't take any more of this. From out here in Lawshe, Ohio. There was a real bad fire just a couple miles from my house, right across the road from one of my friends. And uh, there was a car caught on fire in the garage and blew up. I want to have a look at it. Bunch of garage fire. Thank <laughs> you.